Greetings, all praise the King. As we come on this Sabbath, our Lord has brought us to the second book of Kings, chapter 3. The King of Israel, Jehoram, who is the grandson of Ahab, uh, the evil king uh, who is married uh, to Jezebel, is not to be confused with the son of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, who also bears the same name, uh, Jehoram, and infamously married uh, the only woman uh, king of Israel, uh, the daughter of Ahab, who was evil. This Jehoram, the king of Israel now, in chapter 3, is uh, rebelled against by the Moabites. Um, he feels like he got taken. There was a deal. The Moabites were sheep shearers. And it went bad. So uh, Jehoram comes to Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, and says, uh, will you come with me? Now Jehoshaphat also had done dealings uh, with Jehoram's grandfather, Ahab. His father Ahaziah, who had fell through the lattice, uh, would be the beginning of woes uh, for the sons of Ahab. Um, as was promised by the Lord to Ahab, even as Ahab had humbled himself in the end, so that evil would not come upon him, yet his sons. And um, Jehoram coming to Jehoshaphat, who is known as a good king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, asks Jehoram, asks him, Jehoshaphat, for his help. In, 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 in conquering over the Moabites. Now, they had to go through the land of Edom. And so, um, they also um, went along with the king of Edom. Now, this would have been another uh, pagan nation. Now, as they journeyed seven days, they ran out of water. Now, this is immediately... Um, after the time of Elijah going into the whirlwind and having left uh, the mantle a token uh, for Elisha, his servant, apprentice, uh, to receive, in that Elisha used this to part the water. And so Elisha is in the area. Now when they come to journey seven days and run out of water and all their cattle um, is thirsty. And Jehoram, you know, reacts by, by saying, you know, this is it. You know, we're done. You know, Lord has brought us, all three of us kings together to die. Whereas Jehoshaphat um, sees there's a way. And even as uh, Jehoshaphat um, had called on Micaiah. Um, so uh, he asks for a prophet in the land. And the servants of the king of Israel, Jehoram, present Elisha, saying that this is the man that poured uh, water on Elisha. And Elisha is, 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 has come. And seeing them, he is not readily willing to accept, to assist in this endeavor. And um, it is uh, Jehoram, you know, that's, that's, that's pleading, uh, you know, if, 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 this isn't, if this isn't done, you know, we all die, the kings. 
And uh, so it becomes for the sake of Jehoshaphat that Elisha intercedes uh, on their behalf uh, because of the respect that he had for this king of Judah. And so he calls and says, bring me a minstrel, someone to play music. Now this person comes and begins to play. And it says the Lord has, his hand has come upon uh, this prophet. You know, meaning the word is now spoken. And it is instructed uh, for those kings uh, to dig out trenches in the area. And in the morning, in the morning, after the meat offering, the sacrifice, the land is filled with water. Now when the Moabites come and they see the water, they see this as blood and they think that the kings have been slain. So they rush in to the spoil. And as they rush in, they are overcome and beaten down. As the prophecy was proclaimed by Elisha, that this would be done, that the Moabites would be given unto the hands of the Israelites, both families at this time. So, in the walk, as the kings had come to a place of despair, where the king of Israel, disheartened, gives in and says, we're finished. It's Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. Believes there is a way. Because of this faith, the prophet is revealed. And Lord intercedes on behalf of even, even the wicked kings. for the sake of the righteous one. Ja. Rastafari.